everybody and welcome back to my channel and um, finally welcome back to another die cast restoration video so okay since the last uh, video I hope everybody's keeping well and um, looking forward to this one um, sorry it's been some time again as I said before I've been really busy um, and this one has taken me a long time to complete now um, Thank you very much everybody for tuning in for this one and um, you know it's much appreciated. Uh, I know I haven't you know been doing so many, well I haven't been doing many at all models of late. Um, so you know thank you for your patience and thank you for joining us or joining me again this time for this one. Okay so we'll get on with the video and this one was very kindly donated to my channel by Fraser Martin so thank you very much for that Fraser it's very much appreciated um, I've had it for quite some time and I did start this restoration before Christmas and it has dragged on and dragged on um, finally I've got it done um, so this is obviously the video of, of it being done um, it's turned out not too bad so I better tell you what it is and um, this time the restoration video is of a Solido Saviem car transporter with a trailer and um, yeah well all I have to say really is as I always do say please sit back relax enjoy watching the video see how I got on with this one. Right, okay, then let's take a closer look at this one. We'll have a look at the truck first. Um, it's in quite good condition paint wise, but I do want to do it. So that goes, moves up and down and it locks into place, which is good. Um, the real or main issue with this one is the wheels as you can see they've melted this one's got stuff stuck to it um, they all melted the same so I do have to find some new wheels for it um, the cab is going to need a new sticker grill because that's all that is there's a bit of bubbling under the paint there so it does really need a repaint even though it looks pretty good. Um, the window unit's all there. Um, yeah, it's all screw screw bases and it, it, everything screws together. Um, there is, for this to go up and down, there's like um there's this this wire in the in there, I don't know if you can see, and I think there should be another one this side, so we'll have to sort something out for that that one's a bit rusty as you can see uh, doesn't fit in there 100% well but it might be okay with just the one I don't know maybe it did just have the one I'm not sure we'll have to see we'll have to see so that is that um, 
there must be some kind of pin that goes through there through the tow bar to hold the trailer because the trailers we'll move on to that now anyway so but the trailer see it's got an eye as well so there's got to be a pin that goes through um, this got the tilt cab a little bit of engine detail but even the interior you can see it's got a like a Phillips screw so that is good nice to undo now this one keeps falling apart it's just because of these bits they, they bend out slightly um, it's not going to be much to put it back in they might need bending in once they're screwed on because each one well these these pillars are not screwed on these are fixed but the back ones are screwed on so that's uh, how this one is now again that's only got a spring on one side so I'm guessing that there might only be a spring on one side so anyway other than that um, we've got the same issue with these wheels um, I'm not sure if this has got a suspension that is going up and down a bit but I don't know if that's just meant to be loose I don't think there's any springs in that I'm not 100% sure we'll have to see there might be I don't think so looking at it from here but once we undo it we'll be able to see what's what anyway like I say we'll have to find some new wheels all round um, I'll have a look through all my wheel spares um, don't think that's I'm not sure if that back is twisted down a bit or if that's the way it is meant to be I'm not sure it's hard to see it looks almost as if it might be twisted a bit but at the same time that might be the way it's made But nothing to compare, that's the trouble. I'm figuring that's the way it's made actually, judging by the actual truck, it's the same. Right, okay, we're going to get the screwdriver and that. We're going to take these bits and pieces apart. Okay. Right, okay, let's start taking this apart. Get my drivers. So it's Phillips screws. I've got my little pot here ready. Put the screws in. So right, we'll start by undoing this. Very tight, very tight. So that's one. Maybe move the camera a bit. Don't think it matters which way that goes, I think it's the same both ways. Now this one's got the spring in it, so there obviously was only a spring on one side I think, so perhaps I better, that was on the right hand side of the truck, I'll probably forget by the time I come to put it together, but I'm guessing it doesn't really matter too much. Right, let's get the tow bar off and I think that should get the axle off it's nice to have a screw base now this is where I could run into problems remembering where the screws go for these
screwdriver is not the right one for that. Oh, there's that one. Mm. Might be a better one. It's not very good either. Bugger. It's tight. Bloody hell, that's tight. Pardon my French. Ah! Don't do that. Pinches your fingers, it's not good. Duh. I'm not going to undo that. An ivy. You wouldn't think that was well tight. This is the same. So we lift that off. So none of that, well, that bit's not painted. So we lift that off and we'll get the uh, axles out like that. I will have to file the ends to get the wheels off. But we're not going to use these wheels. I don't know what wheels we're going to use because I haven't looked yet if I've got any or not. But uh, anyway, like I said, we'll get that off. Now there's another one of these screws. I think this one's the same. Probably tight as well. Not so tight. That's no, undoing that one okay. That's it, that's it. That undoes the uh, front, I guess is it the engine. It unscrews the engine and releases the axle. That's it. Oh god, where did that go there? So that's the same as that. That's three the same. That's in there like that, I don't know. Nah. I was just wondering if there was a suspension on that, but no. Nah. It can't be because no, nah, because there's no room for it. Okay, so that's metal bit that just need cleaning up. This plastic will go in the ultrasonic cleaner, the engine, I should say. So there's one last screw to undo there, which is this one that holds the cab and the interior of the cab, but it's not tight at all, so that's all right. I say it's one last screw, it's not because I've just seen another one in there. This one just holds the cab on, on the hinge. There's another one in there that actually holds the um, interior in the cab. Oh. Probably not going to go with these colours. Can't get this out. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go with these colours because I'm not too keen on them. Can't get the screw out. It won't unscrew any further. Yeah. Okay, so that's a longer one. Okay, so that little black piece 
that can actually the 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 where's the threaded into I don't know if I can leave the screw in that or not. You know I think I can. Yep. Sorry, I'm going out of shot again. I think I'll leave the screw in that and then undo this one. I think that's the same again as those. Yeah. Now that interior should, that's it, come out. Now, do you know what that interior actually, that interior <laughs> is actually metal, and I thought it was plastic. So, um do you know what that actually is in good nick so i don't think i'm going to bother painting that i'll just clean it and leave it as it is that will simplify things a little bit for me um let go in there put all these screws in there because i know where those go I know where they go now. I probably won't know where they go later, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> right, the glass. That just clicks out, I think. Yeah. So that just needs a, a bit of a clean up and a bit of a polish up. It's not too bad otherwise. So this is ready for the caustic now. Um, there's a transfer in there. That's a water slide decal, I think. By the way, it's flaking. Um, I will have to recreate one of those. But I'll probably take one off of the um, internet. Of, off a real one and I'll try and print it myself. It almost looks, I can't make up my mind if those lights are painted, whether that's plastic, like a transparent plastic on there, I don't know. I think it might be plastic, I'm not sure. In which case that would have to come out. I think they are. Ooh, that's not going to be easy. Okay, I'm going to have to think about that one. Right, that's that anyway. So these, there's no more screws. Don't separate these, I've just got to pull that bit out. Oh, I've just got to pull that a bit out, I said. <laughs> Screwdriver. Screwdriver. More one just pries that up a little bit, that's it. And out. Up and out, and away we go. That's it. Now I will maybe, I don't know whether to take a copy of that or not, or whether to do some other kind of thing on there. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to think about that one as well. Anyway, this is pretty much ready for the caustic. So that'll be the next bit. Um, the trailer. Well, I better undo the trailer. Let's shovel that up there. This top bit's already fallen out, and the uh, these need bending in a little bit.
Same thing with these. Not too sure about a ramp yet, as as yet I'm not. <laughs> uh, there obviously must have been some kind of ramp on there, but I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So these small screws are the same as on the other one. Oh, I can't undo those. Oh, God, they're tight. No, I can't undo that. Why the hell is so tight? I don't know. Got that one. Bloody screwdrivers turning on it. I can't turn that one at all. Okay, I've managed to loosen it. But talk about awkward to do it. What I might do is cut her, her um, you know, cut it with a saw or the, the Dremel with a little grind wheel on. Make a slot in that to take the other kind of screwdriver. Right, so that just lifts up. And then these axles, as bent as they are, um, they come out. So either I'll make new ones or straighten those, I'm not sure. But like I say, I need to find, I need to find a, um, set of wheels that will fit on that right so that's about it for this I probably won't show the, the caustic soda bit this time you've seen me do it all before um, so I probably won't show it this time okay right okay I've got all the bits cleaned up um, <coughs> wire brushed and um, cleaned with methylated spirits. Um, I shouldn't really be touching this with my fingers. And I've, you can see I've masked off all the ramp parts, um, ramp parts, the parts for the you know <coughs> where the cars go. And um, yeah, so I'm all ready to go and um, put an undercoat on that primer. Okay, so I'll catch you when that's done. Right, okay, I've got the primer on. Um, it's a cab. I won't show you all the bits because I've got them all hanging up from the ceiling. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to go and put the colour on. And I'm going to do it this Holt Soto Spray Paint. And it's sort of a yellowy orange more yellow than orange but um, I'm going to do it that colour so it's the code is on there there's no actual colour it's just a number and a few letters ok so I'm going to go out and do that it's a lovely warm sunny afternoon and uh, yeah it's just perfect ok I'll catch you when that's done Right, okay, I found some wheels. Now, they're 
off a, um, an old corgi trailer I had, um, which is all bent and broken, so I thought I'd save the wheels off it. Well, I had saved the wheels off it previously, I had them in a, in a container. Um, yeah, so I've put them on the axles um, from the Savium and uh, bring them over. So those are in good nick, I don't need to do anything with those. Now for the trailer, they're smaller wheels. Again, I've got some corgi ones that I had. Um, again, I've put them on the axles and pinned them over. Now these wheels had no tread left on them and they were very, very badly damaged. You know, they'd obviously been uh, used on cement or concrete or something, the car, and they'd absolutely worn out. They looked dreadful. So what I've done, I've sanded them down. I've, I've put them on a um, on an old um, pop rivet shaft and uh, put them in the drill. And I sanded them down as much as I dare. Um, see, I've done that one as well. And what I did, because there was no tread left on, I got some really coarse sandpaper, which I've got there, a piece of this, is it P80, and whilst these were like in the drill turning, I just held them on the sandpaper, and that kind of made a tread. You can see there's a bit of a tread on there. So they were sort of all, well not smooth, but you know, they were... Um, no tread left on them at all and, and just all worn and shitty so that's given them a little bit of tread on uh, so what I'm going to have to do now is um, probably I'll I'll just um, maybe paint the black and then I'll have to do the middles and molotov on these so the bigger ones I, like I say I didn't have to do anything with <coughs> oh excuse me I've got a stinking cold again um, yeah, these ones I didn't have to do anything with, they're nice and clean and all the paint's still on, so happy days with those. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, paint these and then um, we'll soon be ready to put them on or we'll put the, the model together. Now, um, I've just washed this. It doesn't need painting, I'm going to leave it as it is, it's in good condition. Um, the engine I might do a bit of um, different detailing, I was wondering maybe if I just sprayed it and then picked out like the exhaust manifold, not sure yet. Um, right, I'll show you what I've done so far, I have got a bit carried away again, I'm well, doing little bits after work all the time. Um, I kind of lost track, so I've done the cab, I've done the roof white, um, I've scraped the Savium letters uh, across the front. Now the front grille, I had to get off a photograph off the internet and try and square it up as best I can. Um, and print it out on sticker paper, which I, I should have um, done it on a piece of paper first, printed it just to make sure it was alright, but um, I've had two or three goes, so I've got quite a few stickers there I've made. So that's final sticker paper I've used. So um, it's not too, too bad. Uh, I've got away with the grill, I think, a little bit. Um, I've put the headlights back in, just glued them in with the... Um, five second fix. Uh, done that detailing, that's all been lacquered, so that's ready to go. Uh, and um, the trailer, well I've done, I've done all the bits. I'll show you this one. Um, I've made some stickers again to put on there. It's Renault Agriculture, but the agriculture hasn't come out very well. Um, it's not easy to do, you need a very very clear photo and when you make it that small um, they, they don't always work out. But anyway, I have um, I had masked all this off, I might have told you, I'm not sure. I had masked all that off, um, so the silver bits have not been painted. I thought I'd do the chocks in black. Uh, 
so yeah that's that's more or less that bit um, I've done well the other bits there's the uh, that's the base of the lorry this is the trailer um, so they're all very similar put the stickers on here as well um, okay so this is the top part of the lorry and um, I've put stickers on there um, Renault Agriculture so you can probably see where I'm going now um, yeah so that's that's the top of the lorry and the top of the trailer is here so it's the same I've got the same same uh, stickers on there so that's all ready we need to go back together I've cleaned the window unit and I've dipped it um, in the uh, polish and um, well that's that's I'll leave that overnight until tomorrow so uh, yeah that's about as far as I've got right okay um, we're ready to start putting this model back together now I'll start with the actual lorry part not the trailer part um, I've put the window unit in already it just presses in so there's nothing special about that just goes in um, no gluing no riveting nothing like that okay so I'm gonna just put that over to one side a bit um, I've put one of these springs in well it's come out again but one of these springs in there the side I've chipped the paint a bit but it's going to get chipped with a thing going the top um, ramp going up and down so there's not a lot one can do about that I'm afraid that's going to happen you know when you move the ramp right um, so I think the first thing I've got to do is this engine um, I did a little bit of detailing, not much, um, a bit of sort of coppery goldy colour on the exhaust manifold and a little bit of silver, I don't want to do too much. So that um, engine piece obviously, it holds the front axle. Right. So I need this. Now this piece here, it slides in there. And then this axle, front axle, goes on there. Um, and then this all screws onto this piece like that, like so. So I need a screw. Okay, so here we go, we put the first screw in. I'm going to use a different screwdriver, slightly big one. Um, Posi drive screwdriver. slip and scratch the paint okay so there's that that piece so that's the front that's the front axle on in the engine in um, right so next we've got to put I've got to undo this screw here. Yeah. This is a longer screw than this one in here. That's why I've left it in. So I didn't mix it up. So that's that's the hingy part. Okay, so before I put this piece onto there, I need to probably put it, screw it 
into the cab. So let's see. There. So that screws into there. So I want another screw. Okay, so let's screw that one in. Like so. Tighten it a little bit more. There, that's it, nice and tight. And then we've got to slide that piece in there and then put the long screw in. Put this long one in. If I can get it in, that is. It's a really long screw this one. Right, that's in. So that tips up all right, that tilts. Okay, so far so good. Right, now I think what we do next probably is put the back axle on. Um, so that back axle fits obviously in there. And the tow bar holds it all in place, like so. So I need two more screws. That's good, got a nice good roller. Okay, now then, next uh, bit 
I think will be to put the top on. Now, this isn't going to be easy because I've kind of bent that in a bit. Uh, Chip the paint trying to get that on there. Push that in, so that's it. I might have to touch that up, unfortunately. Um, okay, so we got that top top deck on. I hope I put the right one. I think they're both the same. The trailer one and that one, I think, are both the same. Let's try. Yeah, identical, identical. So now we've got to put um, this piece on with the spring. Now we've got to make sure to get this little piece here, this little bit that sticks out. It's got to go in there on that side of the spring. So if we put that one on first. Oh, the spring's falling out. Oh dear. Right, come on, let's do this again. That way. That away. Oh. Come on. Right, that way. Let's get a screw in there, maybe. So this is one of the screws that's got um, the like, you know, countersunk screws. See they've got that bit there, so I need to get that in there. Through the spring. And this isn't going to be easy. Now it's got some locating pins there and there that fit in these two holes here so if I hold that there Let's see. So I need to get that. This side, that's it. This side, so. To tighten that now. Okay. Then I need to put this side on. So there's no spring on this side, so that's just a case of putting the screw in and that's it Quite sure that's not going right in. Okay, it's going. Right, that should be tight. Okay, that's it. That clicks into place, so that's good. Okay, so we've got that one, that part of it done, which is cool. It's looking good.
these um, corgi wheels look quite okay on it, thank goodness. Right, I'm just going to put the lorry part out of the way and then we're going to get the trailer and start putting that back together. Right, okay then, let's get on with this trailer. Um, so what I'll start with is the axles on the back with the wheels that we sanded down and use the coarse sandpaper to put new tread on onto them so they just fit into those four slots now these wheels obviously are slightly smaller than the others um, then we've got this piece here that goes this way that holds the axles on now I'll have to touch this up a little bit because obviously um, my um, clamps have been on that the clamps have been on that um, to when I painted it so that part didn't get painted now these that's not very good fitting that I'm not sure if that somehow got twisted. You know, turn it around and try it this way. Yeah, that's better. I think that's better. Yeah. Okay, so we get the screws in there. So that's the last two round-headed screws to go in. That's okay, I think. Yeah, that's tight. Okay, so that's that bit. So she rolls okay. Now we've got this. Um, oh yeah, we'll put this in. Oh, look, I've been pushing so hard there with the screws. I've chipped the top of that, but anyway. A couple of little chips, but um, I'll have to sort that out. Just touch that up after. It's not a problem. There. Get that in there. That's it. Oh, I've put it the wrong way. What a dipshit. What a dip. So I've scratched my paint for nothing. I've put the wrong end. I've put the wrong end in there. Oh, what a cowboy. That really isn't good. Really not good. Okay, that's in there. The right way around this time. <laughs> Cabbage! Right, okay, so I've chipped some, a good bit of paint off there now. Um, okay, this pin goes in with the shorter end on the lower. Well, underneath, so it's got to go in that way. Okay, so we'll do the same as we did before. We'll get the uh, screw in and then drop it on the uh, table, which isn't much cop. Yeah, so we'll screw that in there. We'll start to screw it in. Do it on the same side as the, the lorry part. 
Right, and then we've got to make sure that this goes in. Oh, that's moved now. Sorry, I'm going out of shot. Make sure it goes in there. That's to that front side of the bit of wire. Which I should have tightened that a little bit more, actually. Perhaps I had better tighten it some more. Right, okay. Okay, I'm not happy with the way that is. That needs bending a bit, so I'm going to have to take it off again. That definitely needs bending. So this is how quickly things can go wrong. And you end up chipping loads and loads of paint or scratching it. So, you see how that's gone when the screw tightens. Um, that, that's it's sticking out. It's no good. So I'm going to have to bend that in that way a bit. It's got to bend in. It's got to go that way a bit. So hang on, I'll just get my pliers and I'll do that. Okay, I've bent it a bit. I hope it's enough so we'll have another go at doing this. We'll have another go. That's better. So we'll try and get that in there. That's it. And then we'll put the other piece on. Again, that one doesn't matter because there's no spring in it. So, as long as it's that peg is in the groove, we're fine. Sorry if I'm uh, my hand is blocking your view. What I'm doing. Right. Just tighten this one a bit more. Okay. So that should be okay, yeah, see the spring's working, so that's cool, that's good. Right, now I did um, Google this and uh, I found some pictures. Um, there is a ramp which is separate to this, it fits in there somehow. Um, I haven't been able to find one. I thought to try and make one maybe on the 3D printer, but um, it wasn't really something I could do easily with my laptop. So I haven't bothered. I've left without a ramp for now. I will be on the lookout for one if anybody sees one or knows where there's one for sale. Um, yeah, I'd be very interested in getting that. Or buying one to finish this model off so anyway that is um, that all put together now so basically I'm just going to touch up these bits that I messed up not too too bad There's a little bit there and the tops I mean it's inevitable when that goes up and down it's going to scratch so there's not a lot you can do about that um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, I'll do probably my outdoor shots again like normal. And um, I do have to put a pin in there, make a pin because I haven't got one. So I might put a little screw in there with a nut on the end to join the trailer to the truck. Um, yeah, so we'll do the outdoor shots when I've sorted that out and then we'll put it on the turntable compare before and after bring the lorry back in and put it there and um, 
yeah, that's that. Right, and thank you very much for watching, and I uh, do hope you've enjoyed this video. And, um, you know, I hope you'll join me again next time for another die cast restoration. And um, just before we go, again, a uh, very special thanks to Fraser Martin who sent me this model. And uh, it was very much appreciated, and I hope you like um, the way I've done it. I need to get a couple more tractors to put on the back of the trailer on the top. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way it's turned out. With the old um, corgi wheels, they, they fit quite well on there. Okay, so if you have enjoyed this one, please join me again next time for another die cast restoration video. Hopefully it won't be so long in coming for the next one. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, you know, I hope you join me when it does, when I do get another one done. So until then, please look after yourselves, take care, and um, okay, we'll see you again. Cheerio for now. Abato. Toodaloo. See you next time.